Hi, my name is Veronica Arnold, and today I'll be discussing uh, entrepreneur and business leader Heidi Roizen. First, I want to touch on the strengths of her network throughout her career. Throughout her life, her ambition, sincerity, and uh, willingness to meet and connect with others have been the keys to her success. But while her technical expertise has served her well, it truly was her connections with others and the skills in networking that allowed her to propel her career forward. So starting with her career beginnings at Tandem, she's able to use one friend to get the number of the hiring director. One phone call and one genuine connection later, Heidi had landed her first job, and her network only grew from there. While at Tandem, she was able to impress the CEO and leverage that relationship to get a letter of recommendation into uh, Stanford Business School. After obtaining her degree, she jumped into the world of entrepreneurship by teaming up with her brother and developing TeamMaker. Now, as a company with low capital, it was essential that she use her networking skills to get in with the press and build relationships uh, and encourage them to review TeamMaker and their publications. At the time, she was also joining a handful of well-known tech groups and sat on panels for the Software Entrepreneurs Forum uh, to expand her social contacts and make a name for herself. In addition to that, she also joined and later became uh, president of the Software Publishers Association, which at the time allowed her to befriend many people that would eventually go on to be uh, high-profile tech leaders in their own right. So it didn't take long for her to actually have to use those famous tech leaders, where later on she joined Apple, and whenever Apple was struggling, she proved the strength of her network by calling in a favor from Bill Campbell. And she personally asked him to support Apple in uh, Apple's time of need. She also used her personal friendship with Microsoft founder and CEO Bill Gates uh, to mend ties between their two companies, which is extremely uh, impressive considering that those two are the main competitive, er, competitors to each other. Her network was so vast and influential that by the time she left Apple, uh, she became a freelance mentor capitalist and she essentially made her own job title. But despite being on her own, uh, her experience and reputation allowed her to remain successful. That experience also led to her position at SoftBank Venture Capital, uh, where she legitimately had to turn business away consistently just because her time and expertise were so valuable. The culmination of her hard work and network maintenance allowed her to lead five SoftBank uh, investments for a total of $40 million in the first six months of working there. Her network proved time and time again to be the driving force behind her success, and it's not hard to see how strong it is. So now switching gears uh, to the second question, I want to prove how Roizen displayed many of the concepts that we learned in Module 5. So first of all, Roizen has mastered the art of building a network. She consistently put herself out there and actively looked to make connections with good quality and interesting people. And by focusing on those interesting people, she was very able to make a very diverse uh, range of contacts throughout varying tech, uh, sections of the tech industry. She was able to prevent her network be um, from becoming too inbred uh, by acting on the shared activity principle. So formally, uh, she was joining those groups like the Software Publishers Association. But informally, uh, she was attending health clubs, she was jogging, she was picking up her kids from uh, school, she was throwing those parties, really just anything to get her name out there and to build those relationships with uh, awesome people. Secondly, it's very obvious that she harnessed and leveraged the power of persuasion. For the pin uh, principle of liking, she very easily connected with people and uncovered real similarities. Uh, many personal testaments of Roizen uh, in the Roizen case study reflected that she was well liked by her peers. She's described as unpretentious, highly approachable, always had an open door policy, um, and it's absolutely true that she treated others like friends, and it's no secret that friends help their friends. She also fully leveraged the principle of reciprocity. She consistently dedicated her time and knowledge to helping others uh, get ahead. She gave easily, she loved to help, uh, and then others loved to help her whenever the time came. A direct quote from the case study said, she truly understands the meaning and value of a win-win relationship. Through her role as a catalyst, she increased the efficiency of people, other people's lives. I think that uh, sums up the understanding of reciprocity perfectly. And lastly, she honed the principle of authority. Throughout her career, she continuously strived to better herself. Very early on, she was exposed to the uh, tech and entrepreneur type uh, environment where she was growing up in Silicon Valley. And then despite financial hardship, she was able to put herself through undergrad and graduate school at Stanford, which is a highly respected university. She put herself in a position of power and truly understood the landscapes of the jobs that she was in, no matter the climate. She earned position of power and people looked and trusted her expertise. And finally, despite her genuine demeanor and willingness to help others, I think that Heidi was a giver with some matcher tendencies. Uh, she was quoted as saying that there is a balance to every relationship. 
You can't always be asking for favors, but you also can't spend your entire day doing goodwill for others either. She also always worked to make deals that mutually benefited both parties rather than just help uh, a single person for the sake of their career. But at the end of the day, I can't deny that she gave her time and expertise freely when she could and overall wanted to uh, set others up for success, uh, which really characterized her as a giver in my book. All in all, Heidi Roizen led an impressive life. With her outgoing and motivated personality, uh, her business and technical expertise, and her exceptional networking skills, she was able to consistently help others. She maintained a great home life, and all while conquering the business uh, world, which is a truly impressive feat.